what are the benefits of speaking in tongues when we pray in tongues it helps us to operate at the highest level of our faith in jude verse 20 it says building up yourselves upon your most holy faith praying in the spirit listen your faith level can be this high now faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god faith does not come by speaking in tongues faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of god but hear this your faith level can be at the height of this microphone are you seeing this this may be your faith level and so one day you woke up you prayed the dead came back to life because you were operating here you went somewhere somebody was blind you commanded the eyes open two weeks later you were betrayed by a friend and your heart was broken your faith would drop here if you see the dead and they call you you run not because you don't have faith to raise the dead but your faith is under attack so your faith level may be here but your life may be here and the bible said the judge shall live by faith what does tongue do when you are praying in tongues tongues jack up your faith so that you operate always at the highest level of your faith there are many people who have faith for a glorious life but they are living like slaves there are many people who have faith for signs and wonders but they are living have you not gone for a meeting before you saw something and you came alive you were looking for who has cripples crutches you collect the crutches and the person starts walking another day you go for a miracle service but your faith was low you saw somebody who just had knee pain you say anybody who is sick here the lord help you the lord bless you the lord heal you you don't even have enough boldness to say if you are healed come meanwhile yesterday you collected crutches but today you don't have boldness to say if you are healed come you know what your faith is under attack there are many forces you remember the prayer of jesus for peter he says simon simon satan desires to have you luke 22 39 he said but i have prayed for you that your faith faileth not so there are times when people's faith are under attack although they are men of faith they are not operating in faith and there are those who have died like that that window two weeks window where their faith went down that was that that was the window they were attacked with cancer that was the window they were attacked with covid and they died and then you are looking at them you say what how can this kind of person because faith can be attacked when you pray in tongues constantly you build yourself on your faith level you ascend to the highest level of your faith it charges you to keep operating at the highest level of your faith so your life does not fluctuate your life becomes upward and forward only that's why tongues is very important number two why do we pray in tongues when we pray in tongues or generally pray in the spirit it brings us into the perfect will of god there are many times you stood up you would have gone into error but you have prayed too much to go into error so while you stood up you made up your mind to go and err forces will be aligned to push you into the right path you know and some of you who are here you know especially your earlier days when today you are on fire tomorrow you are cold you know one of the signs of spiritual immaturity is that today you can be on fire but tomorrow you are very cold so the guy who was prophesying yesterday next week you come he's crying you say what happened you say kai i fell again i don't know why oh god kill me let me lord kill me i'm a disappointment to you and god is just looking at you and say uh, baby grow up you are a baby that's the right child that's what it means number three praying in the spirit activates your spirit man meanwhile all the wealth of grace is in your spirit man but you see if it is not activated you cannot walk in dominion you have all of the dimensions of god locked in your spirit but it has to be activated for you to walk in dominion paul said in first corinthians 14 14 he said when i pray in the spirit my spirit is the one praying so you bring your spirit under spiritual activity it's like spiritual gymming it's difficult but it will flex your spiritual muscles that's why most of you when you started praying in the spirit five minutes look like 10 hours 20 minutes look look like two years and in fact when you finish after laboring and praying for 30 minutes you may not go back again for three weeks because every time you gym there are pains in your muscles i went the other time to keep fit my friend says came and said uh, 
I'm rusty. I say, are you sure? He said, come, come. It's a little exercise. I say, eh, it's okay. We did a uh, sit-up. They now bent, the bench was not flat. They bent it. So sit up, I was supposed to lie on a flat bench and come up. They bent the bench. So when I go down, I will go down by 45 degrees. When I wanted to come up, I now discover my whole back was ache. He said, no, just, just do two sets. What is two sets? It's 50, 15 times. I gathered my masculinity. I stretch, I stretch. When I finish, my back was on fire. I thought that was all. He showed me some other things I did. The next day when I woke up, I tried to carry my leg from the bed. I discovered that my leg had become like, like a log of wood. I couldn't lift my leg. When I stood up, I was walking. My, my 80 year old version was imparted on me. I was walking like this. If I shake any part of my hand, I will feel so much pain. I say, I'm not going there again. I say, no. If you don't go, when you go later, the whole pain will come back. And because I didn't want the pain to come back, I labored after two days because he massaged it. After two days, I went back. I started again. Oh, I've run for the past three weeks. That's how tongues is. When you go, halakako, seke, seke. Give people who start this job, they will begin. They will not check. It's three minutes. <laughs> you will now wait and ask yourself, how do they pray in tongues for five hours? It's a journey of the spirit. It takes help. Tongues means help me, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes they even want to impress you. When you check, it's now 12 minutes. You will now see the one whose muscles are developed. You know, there is a way they oppress people in the gym. When you come, the ones that have done it for some time, they will come, they will put a lot of weight and they will use one hand. <laughs> when they drop it, you now go and check. <laughs> you will drop it. <laughs> when this young one shout, shout, then you see those who have been here for a while, they are still booting. Manda Kabak. Because it's a marathon. But you see, all of that is very important because it activates your spirit man. So when you see a man stand, he's going somewhere, he stops. He's supposed to take a journey. He has reached the park, but he picked a sign, go home. It's not because he's, not, he's afraid though. It's not because he doesn't have faith. But today, something is ahead that he can't handle. But there's discernment. The spirit is awake. He said, go home. He will leave the journey and go home. Sometimes he will even be coming. He will hear, stop here. And he will stop. After some time, go. He will go. He will miss the bus by one seat. And when he enters the second bus, although late, but he will find that first bus that went, it would have kept falling, falling over a cliff. When you look at it, you will know that that's your grave. But the difference is that your spirit is awake. You want to enter a business, you have already agreed the last night almost all the papers were signed but you heard the delay you say wait okay come in the morning you now went home you didn't pick where you still charge you are activating because the, the, the spirit is a picker of frequencies as you stretch 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 after a while you hear no don't go forward the person will call you the next day with excitement we are going to hammer we are going to hammer i say hi my brother leave that business for another time he will not understand why you are like this but god has saved you you can't pick those frequencies until the spirit is active the reason many believers are victims is not because the insurance of god is not with them they don't have activated spirits number four why do we pray in the spirit praying in the spirit opens you up to the help of the holy ghost because as you pray in the spirit it will lead you into groaning and i shared some things with you on groaning the last time Romans 8.26 that we just read, the spirit helped our infirmities. Now, these infirmities are majorly knowledge gaps. He said, for we know not what to pray for. And even if we know what to pray for, we don't know as much as we ought to. So there are many times you are praying and you have prayed for four hours, five hours, ten hours. But God checks, you still can't win this contract too. So what God will do is that he will activate droning. So the Holy Ghost will complete the prayer for you. 
Because although you know you are supposed to pray for that contract, you don't know to what extent you need to pray for the judgment to change in your favor. But you see, the Holy Ghost will not be allowed room to come in except as you pray until he takes over. There are many times when you are praying for the wrong thing. You are praying for promotion. Meanwhile, that week, there's an accident that should take your life. And you didn't even see it. But when you pray, the way the Holy Ghost will help you is that the Holy Ghost will reprogram the activity. So he's helping you because there is an infirmity all of us have. And that infirmity is called knowledge gaps. The best of us does not know all. And so there are many times when if you are praying, the weight of the Spirit will come upon you and he will take over. When that happens, he is trying to help your infirmity. This message is available on all digital platforms. Kindly visit our website at www.EncounterJesusMinistriesInternational.org for more information.